And today we are going to learn about uh, regenerative register. We had checked the how to wire for power input in previous session. And in the power wiring session, there was a short explanation for regenerative register connector. And today we are going to check more detailed information about it. So what is regeneration? Uh, this is the phenomenon of motor which converts kinetic energy to electric energy. Uh, consequently, the regenerative energy is the electric energy that is generated by deceleration of motor. And this energy flows from motor to drive. This power will be transmitted into capacitance in drive and it results in rising voltage and when the voltage has risen to high voltage this sub this system needs to dissipate the dissipate the extra energy by using a regenerative register and if the internal uh, built-in regenerative register does not have enough capacity for the operation, uh, the higher voltage may defect the drive. So that's why we need to use uh, additional register. There are some parameters to use external regenerative register. Uh, these parameters are 209. 200A, 200B, 200C, and 200E. Uh, let's check the function of them and how to set. Uh, first one, 2009 is to select internal and external register. Internal and external. Value 0 is for internal register and 1 is for external register. In case, uh, in case of setting external regenerative register, I mean, if you set the value 1, you need to correct value for 200B and 200C. Uh, this they are based on the data set of register. Before we check the parameter 200A, which is to set the rating factor, I would like to inform you of this parameter first. This is 2606, which is about accumulated regeneration overload. This parameter shows the percentage of value for accumulated regeneration overload. And you can be noted that uh, at the moment when the, this value reaches 100%, the regeneration overload alarm I mean 23 occurs because the alarm 23 is set to occur when this value is 100 percent. However, some customers need to change this criteria, I mean 100 percent, to other, other values because uh, every system has a different circumstance like this. You can set the criteria for alarm 23 as 80%, 70%, or 20, 120, and even 140. By setting this value, the timing of alarm 23 can be changed. Uh, for this, the value we need to set is the rating factor. The parameter 200A is to set the derating factor. You can define the rating factor as accumulated regenerative overload rate. Accumulated regenerative overload rate, uh, this is uh, just the rated val value between alarm occurrence level, which is fixed value and the current 
accumulate over the value. Uh, actually, you don't have to remember all this detailed knowledge, but one thing you should know is the function of this parameter. You see, uh, this initial the initial value of this parameter is 100%. And if you set this value uh, more than 100%, like this, alarm 23 occurs early. And if you set the value which is higher than 100%, alarm 23 occurs late. To help you understand, I'd like to uh, show you the graph uh, this graph shows uh, how this setting value operates. Depending on the setting value, the timing of alarm 23 will be different. Actually, the setting 20A, I mean, duration factor is the same as as uh, uh, setting the range of overload that determines alarm occurrence. So, setting the lower value then 100% means the range of uh, acceptable accumulated overload becomes narrow and it results in early occurrence of alarm 23 you see the lower value than 100% alarm 23 occurs early because the accumulated overload value that value will be decreased because this value is fixed. And the setting higher value of this parameter results in opposite result of the setting lower value. Maybe higher than 100%. Alarm 23 occurs late. Because the uh, current accumulated overall value, this one, be increased and in case of uh, the higher value than 100% there is one thing very important you know uh, it is very important to check the enough heat radiation of external regenerative register and so 200 B and uh, 200C, 200D, 200E. They should be set based on data set of external register. And if uh, 2009 is set as zero for, I mean, which is for internal register, uh, these all parameters are not allowed to set. And let's see some examples of setting regenerative register. This case is to use internal register. And you need to check the short circuit between B and the BI terminal. Uh, this terminal, uh, they uh, to use the uh, internal regenerative register. For internal regenerative register, first thing you need to do is uh, setting 209 as zero, 209, 209 to zero. And uh, if you need to check the value and the capacity of internal register, uh, you can check the pa parameter 200B and 200C. 200B is about the value of uh, register and the 200C is about capacity of uh, the register. In case of a uh, uh, below one one kilowatt drive, you can find the register on the rear side of his sink, like the drawing, this part, and drives uh, between 3.5 kilowatts and 15 kilowatts have the register inside of the drive, so you cannot see the register from the outside, and the higher capacity drive. Uh, more than uh, 15 kilowatts it doesn't have the uh, internal regenerative register so you need to you need to use the external regenerative register
Uh, this case is to use external regenerative register. Uh, this is also very simple. The first thing you should do is uh, uh, to remove short pin on B and PI terminals. PI terminals and uh, connect the external register on P and P plus terminal. You see the P and P plus and uh, this is the external regenerative register. And the uh, second step is setting 2009 as uh, 1, which means uh, using external regenerative register. And after checking the data set of external, rege external register, you set uh, 200B, 200C, 200D, and 200E. Uh, if uh, there is no required data in this seed, set the max capacity as 5 times as uh, 200C and uh, tolerate time as 5000. Uh, please remember uh, this is just in case there is no data seed for setting. So if there is data seed for these parameters, I recommend you follow the value in data seed. And to set these values, 200B, 200C, 200D, and 200E, the regenerative register setting, I mean 2009, must be set as a 1. 